Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Welcome to 30 paintings in 30 days and we are gonna do another small little study painting but we're gonna combine it with the June prompt for Mike Deacon's art group Mission Inspiration. So let's get started. All right, if you're watching the full talking video of this, um, then um, you found it unlisted on YouTube somehow. If you're not a member of Patreon, I'm not sure how you did that, but welcome. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please do leave them in the comments here on YouTube. And if you wanna join Patreon, it's in the video description. All right, so Mike had this, um, um, prompt. He gives out these prompts monthly, so it's a really great group to be involved with. And this month it was grunged up. And I have to do these 30, well, I don't have to, but I'm doing these 30 painting videos in 30 days. And I thought I would just combine the two um, for this one. And I am just looking for a pencil. I know they're here somewhere. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Where are you, pencil? There you are. Okay, and I need something round that's not too gigantic. Maybe that'll work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just trace around this bottle like that, sort of lightly. It's not super straight, but that's okay. I wanted it straighter. Um, grab a ruler and I'm going to just go out a little bit on either side like that. I don't always do a pencil drawing before I get started with the watercolor, but I do occasionally. All right, so we are going to work with, I think mostly I'm gonna work with the round um, number four brush. This is an Escoda brush. Um, my preferred brush, as you know, if you've been watching these is Princeton Neptune. Um, but I have this, so I'm going to use it. Um, what color do I want to start with? Holy cow. So his, um, prompt is grunge it up and the colors are, holy cow, I need my glasses. Hold on. Brown, burnt orange, and patina green. Now I do have this, um, oh, I don't think you can see them there on camera. Let's pull this down a little bit. So I have this watercolor palette, which are um, like desert toned colors or inspired colors. And then I have this one, which is, a, this is a graphite palette. These are graphite based water soluble paints. And um, let's, you know, I'm thinking maybe we should use these. So let's get them all wet. So that doesn't go in there. That goes over there. So the graphite paints um, don't travel well. The graphite gets very um, brittle when it dries. Although it is, you can reconstitute with water, constitute it with water. It gets very brittle when it dries. So they don't really travel super well. So I don't use it as much as I necessarily would like. I do have all of, uh, not all. I have some of them in tube form. So if I'm gonna take them, I'll grab one or two tubes or I will take this and I'll have either that piece of deli paper in here or a piece of plastic wrap or something. Um, but anyway, um, we have a few shades of graphite gray. We have a yellow graphite color, a blue, a red, um, a sepia, an ochre, and a dark brown. So I think we're gonna use those with the desert color together. And I think I'm gonna start with, mm, 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 mm. I think I'm gonna start with ultramarine turquoise. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this gray color that's on my palette over here. Put a little pigment and then I'm going to 
add some just water I haven't done anything but add that little bit of pigment some water I think we're gonna do sort of a still life painting a ball or a box is a really great way to get used to working with your colors getting used to working with shadow and light um, and um, just great practice it makes a quick little um, study Okay, then I'm gonna grab some of that gray blue. And I'm gonna add it in to the wet paint. I'm going to add some of the paint, other paints here that are on my palette. So there would um, be some shadowing. The trick is to get the shadows in the right place. Now you'll notice that I haven't gotten out my favorite watercolor tool, my dryer, <laughs> yet. Um, trying to leave some white space between the colors so that they don't blend more than I necessarily want them to. And I don't have to use the dryer so much. It's a challenge for me. So if there's uh, mostly darkness here, that's where the primary darkness would be. Like if the sun was right there, then there would be dark around the edges. And if you're not sure about where to place the highlights and shadows, it's always good to work from a photo. You can probably find a still life photo of a ball on a table on Pinterest. Um, you can put a ball on a table and take a photo with your camera on your phone. Um, it's always a good idea. I just define the edges just a little bit. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. This is our number one round. I am going to add the dark brown. Now these are a number of different, well, two different brands. There's one brand of water-soluble graphite called Liquid Pencil, and then there's another one by Art Graph. Um, if I can remember to do so, I will try to link them in the description. If I forget, somebody say something. Okay, I'm putting a little bit of that dark brown from Art Graph around the edge, and then I'm gonna just blend it into the other colors by adding some water. making sure that I put the water on the inside of the ball and not the outside because I don't want it to ble bleed to the outside. I want it to blend into the inside. Something like that. Again, with the dark brown. I've only used a couple colors, mind you. This is a lot of sort of straight lines. It's probably not a painting to do when you've had a lot of coffee. As the edges dry, I can add a 
a little bit of pigment and get rid of those white spaces where I don't want them to be. Okay. I can go into this palette over here where the ultramarine turquoise is. And add a little bit of that. In a couple of places. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get the dryer. Okay, I left some suggestions of white space. We're gonna go in there and refine them with our whiteout pen. Quick, cute little study painting. It's nothing spectacular, but it's not bad. So there you go, painting number 11. I'll be right um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.